<laughs> Baker Mayfield. It's still been around. It's been, you know the story. He's supposed to got some about the Cheesecake Factory and so about the Tower City, about two females. They allegedly said this shit. This is the half-assed morning show. The half-assed morning show on 93X Radio. Let's subscribe to their channel and watch their listen to their program. But this is a little clip. Let's listen. Wait, right, let's get to it. This is the Half-Assed Morning Show on 93X. You know what can be a real pisser when you're a married guy and a high-profile athlete and maybe you got a little noggin from a random woman out behind the Cheesecake Factory and then the random gal goes on a radio program to talk all about it because you blocked her on Twitter. That's the nightmare that Browns quarterback Baker Mayfield is living right now. She went to a preseason game, wore a Mayfield shirt, chugged a beer, and sent him a video of it. He followed her on Snapchat, they texted, and next thing you know, allegedly, he asked her to meet up with him behind the Cheesecake Factory. Awesome. <laughs> and then apparently during the program, some other lady called up and said, yeah, I also domed out to whatever his name is again. Baker Mayfield. Yeah. Same place. I think she also said it was a college <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't know, a park. Just in a park. What's a baker doing at the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> it would be funny if you're the opposing coach. You know how they always hold up their play cards in front of their mouths? One of them just holds up a Cheesecake Factory menu. <laughs> I would bet week one, oh unless, unless Mayfield can clear this somehow, I would bet week one the opposition might have a signal on the sideline with a Cheesecake Factory logo. Or the opposing quarterback might use Cheesecake Factory right. as a damn audible. Or yep. people in the stands. Yeah, of course people in the stands, but I'm saying it might even bring itself down to the field. That'd be great if a quarterback used that as an audible call. Yeah. Be pretty funny. Cheesecake! Red 80! Red 80! Cheesecake factory! Cheesecake! Cheesecake number 57! Cheesecake! Say ha ha! What was his thought process when he was like, huh, I want to meet this girl. Where should it be? Huh, the Cheesecake Factory. Like, where, why would you ever think that was Maybe a good idea? Maybe he was there. Janelle, my dad has an old saying. It's any port in a storm. <laughs> <laughs> any port in a storm, Randy. <laughs> he said, oh, he said. Any port in a storm. Oh wow, his daddy said any port in a storm. Anywhere gonna go. Anywhere you can land, take it. Well, I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't believe this female. I'm just sorry. I need more evidence. We need more evidence or something, but your story sounds it, it, until Baker comes out and say something, which I, which I believe he shouldn't say nothing, but until he come out and say anything. I'm not gonna believe the story because I need to see his reaction to this story. So I know I know Tony, the Cleveland reporter, is going to ask him about this when he finally gets a chance to talk to Baker Mayfield. So I hope Baker is ready for this because he just be, get, he's about to get fucking because just because you might not say nothing now. Training camp OTA starts in about two months. And just, just because it might get quiet now, do not think uh, some reporter is not going to bring it up. Tomorrow we think it's Valentine's Day is going to be. Oh my, what you mean? Think if you can fuck the show this way, she ain't worried about this shit right now. <laughs> like, what y'all think? Let me know what y'all think. I don't know. This shit funny so but I don't believe that. I don't. I don't. I don't, believe I don't her. care. I don't believe her with other females. I don't give a fuck if he got his dick sucked. Doesn't, no, it doesn't matter about his football skills to me. I'm just saying though. <laughs> I like. I'm just saying, if he if he did do it, I'm just saying that I believe it'd be more. It, it, it would not be. It, it would not be behind the cheesecake factory. And just let, let let's stop. Let's think about it for a second. Let's just think about it for a second. We, we know how many cheesecake factories we have in Cleveland, Ohio. There's only two. So there's the one out in where Westlake. They at? Where that? The Westlake? one out in Lenhurst. Lenhurst, right? Mm -hmm. So those and they both is in pretty much um, what the word I'm looking for um. The Greater Cleveland area. No, not the Greater Cleveland area. The one in Westlake is in what Crocker that? Park. Crocker Park. Yeah. Heavily trafficked police area. That, so it's probably it, not there. It was so, more likely Lenhurst. So it's not even possible for him to do it there. That's and, a real. Oh no 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 no! Even Lenhurst. Lenhurst is a heavy travel police area too, and a car just randomly just sitting in the parking lot for 
Guys, they have parking garages. Oh, you do? In mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I might be wrong on the Harris. But I know I know on Crocker Park. They definitely got there. huge parking garages. Yeah, but I know. I know no, it's not that. Because I work out there. They police always walking and driving around. You couldn't get away with nothing in Crocker Park. Period. I know that for a fact. So I know he ain't smacking that way. And Dave, but you say you say y'all behind the Cheesecake Factory. Seriously though. But this is do that sound like Baker Mayfield? That he would literally the pretty much prostitute himself out to a hole in the back of a car? Like, does that sound does that do that even make any sense? Yes, the guy that says I woke up feeling dangerous sounds definitely like the guy to me that'll get topped off in a parking garage. Wow, you wait, you believe it? Yeah, I do actually. Why is, why eyes open? So wait, tell me, why do you believe this woman? Because why is it like, why is it so like completely out there that it happened? No, it's not. He got his dick sucked by some bitch no. on Snapchat. Okay. Go ahead. No, it's not that. It's not that. I'm not saying it's not possible that it could happen. I'm not one saying. I mean, it. I really don't think it's really like. I don't think it happened. I do because I can tell by Baker's personality. To me, he is like a party boy, party boy, college boy, frat boy. Like he seems to kind of have a little pass out, fucking doing beer, fucking. What the fuck is that thing oh, called? Oh, so you saying his image is not clean cut enough for you? So he must he must be getting his dick sucked by his wife back in the back in the car. You're acting like I'm saying there's anything wrong with it. Hmm. I mean, it's bad he cheated on his wife, I'm but, like, I mean, it's not, he's like, it's not like he's doing the most obscene thing in the world. He got topped off by a grown man on Snapchat. It made his dick hard when she, when he saw some bitch chugging a beer wearing his jersey. Well, we'll see. I don't think it happened. I don't, I just don't. I mean, honestly, I don't give a fuck. Him getting his dick sucked. I mean, I don't nothing, give a fuck either. It has nothing to do with oh, his football shit. skills. It had period. nothing, you know. Him getting his period. dick sucked had nothing to do about going 6 and 10. It really doesn't. Unless. Motherfucker. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Unless. That's his new name, Tyrus Baker Butterfingers. That's my name, girl. And, or wait. That. The reason why he was playing bad this year, because his wife knew about it. And found out about it. And was mad about it. They've only been married for a month. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Drama and the house will fuck up your food. Will fuck up your play. They, they didn't get married till January. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She this shit happened after they got married. So it doesn't matter. She that will fuck up his play because his when it, now I'm not saying I'm talking. I'm talking when she found out about it. I'm trying to tell you he wasn't and, playing and, when he did it. No, no, Lexi, I'm not saying that. Oh. I'm saying, Lexi, this is not saying we were pussy playing not when it happened. I'm saying when Maybe she found... Maybe he's a habitual cheater. I'm saying, when, I'm saying when she found out about it. Because just because it happened in February, doesn't that doesn't neglect the fact she could find out that shit happened, found out about that shit in October. And that could fuck up, that, that could just fuck up the house right now. The mood, the mood, everything in the house. That could explain why he was playing bad this year. I mean, my... I, my boss at work did say that she he met his wife in person, and he know her his wife, and his wife will be mad as fuck at him, pretty much probably beat the fuck out of him. So what I'm saying is, now all this was starting to make more sense. Now all this could start making a lot more sense. This could explain why he was why his head was not in the game most of the time. He said it was in the game because he was he was worrying about this bitch probably gonna go off on his ass. We don't know. We don't we don't know about it. We don't know what was going on in the house. And we don't know when she found out about it. We can't we could say she either found out about it today, the two days ago when everybody else found out about it, or we could say she found out about it months ago and it just and this little girl just died for and put it up to the world. It's no telling when. But if she found out during the football season. It would explain a lot why the Browns with all that time with fucking six and goddamn motherfucking ten. I'm just saying. It could explain a lot. It could 100% explain a lot. But I hope you didn't do it, Baker. Like, seriously. I just hope you didn't do it. I mean, goddamn, dude. You got did it in your first month being married. Damn, being married was that hard already. Shit, dude, you're not getting help for no motherfucking body when you get married. Like, goddamn. 
Like, you couldn't just, like, postpone the one and then smash the chick? Like, you're just like, making women's arguments so much stronger, baby. Like, like, I mean, like, dude, like, seriously. And you're it, such a good-looking guy. Like, so you're going to be a cheater. That just makes me look at you. Like, I just look at you so different now. Like, like, dude, you couldn't wait at least a year until the shit? You've only been married a month, month and you're already getting your dick, dick sucked at the back of your car? Come on, man. Like. That's something you do after you've been married to a bitch 20 years and y'all ain't fucking no more. Hell, it's not even that. If you're going to do some shit like that, do it. But it is that, too. No, I'm just, but at least... Do at least be married one on one with her for at least before you want to step a year. year. Like seriously, at least give, give this bitch a year. year. Shit. Like, it's like, hard. like, it's just like that makes like, like I don't believe in that bachelor party story. Like when you're on your bachelor party, it's the last night, so you guys some pussy before you get married. Before you get married, I don't believe in that shit because I believe if you're gonna do that shit on your bachelor party. You're gonna do that shit to your marriage. So that make so that making me ask that one question. What the beggar doing his bachelor party? Because if you getting your dick sucked off and by and I, allegedly, and you're a married oh wait 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 gotta say say the allegedly, allegedly, allegedly because I don't believe this happened, but I'm just going I'm just going on if this did happen. So if you getting your dick sucked at your bachelor party, I don't even imagine what you're doing during the motherfucking marriage. But nigga, only a motherfucking month. Oh, he was fucking at his bachelor party. Like a fucking money. And all you did is got your dick up? I'm sorry, girl. You're not just sucking. She's not even like all fucking Like, no, nah, fuck that shit, girl. Let me see them titties or something. Take them motherfucking titties off. Girl, get butt-ass nigga. We about, to, we about to fuck in this goddamn car. <laughs> Dude, if, I'm about to, if, I'm about, if I'm about to fucking cheat after a fucking month... Well, bitch, well, I'm about to fuck the shit. I'm about to fuck you. I'm about to suck them toes, kitties. I'm about to kiss all over the body or not. For that, for that one, by what? 45 minutes, you're going to feel like I'm completely in love with you. Until I tell you to fuck out my car and I bust my nut. But I don't get it. I don't get it. But he really cheated after a fucking month. Until this stuff. And then, and then, then having to have the nerve to have found out there's another girl talking that shit. So I'm pretty sure more females better start coming out the Woodworth too now. You know how this shit happens. <laughs> yeah. You know how this shit goes. Because uh, no. once you get one, then you got two. And you then, and then, and then, then that's you know we got like 45 females that you only smash one of them. And boy, they all, they all stories sound the same. So we already know this shit gonna go. So then another chick came out. She used to, this bitch actually called the radio show. And she actually said on air that she sucked a dick. Like, this is why it's making this shit unbelievable. Or do I just live in a town where you can just literally just say that shit and just think nothing of it? Like, I remember a town when I was like, taboo, you don't tell people you eat pussy or suck dick. Ew, you motherfucking nasty. Now I'm motherfucking say, yeah, yeah, I suck this goddamn dick. Yeah, I see that fucking bitch pussy. I mean, what the fuck is going on? You said to a radio station, though? Did I make it that make that? That just, that just is fucking crazy as fuck. This is like beyond crazy. I don't get what's going on. I like it, but like I keep saying, though, I got to keep it like I said. I don't believe Baker honestly did it. She believed Baker did it. I don't. She She's stereotyping him because he's a college boy look type person. He spoke up feeling dangerous. Hell, the hell? What about him just saying he woke up feeling dangerous that he decided to drink milk for the first time in 30 years like me? That's me waking up feeling dangerous. <laughs> if I let you wake up the morning, like, no. If you wake up and you drunk some milk, I'd ask what the fuck is wrong with and you. And I say, and I will say, I, I woke up feeling, feeling dangerous. <laughs> then what you gonna say? That's the, like, that could, it could be anything, hell. Shit, you know what? He probably. That would be a funny skit, dude. You better, that'd be like when you're lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up feeling dangerous. You drink some milk. Yeah, but I don't know what y'all y'all tell me for. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Is this shit just redundant? Do y'all believe it? Because I don't, and I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't think it. people really give a shit. And I, that's too because nobody's still big and still not important about this, so nobody really gives mm -hmm. a fuck about it. Because it doesn't matter like if he gets his dick sucked or not. I don't care really if he does get his dick sucked. It has nothing to do with how he I mean, throws a football. Yeah, apparently unless uh, unless him getting his dick sucked was fucking with his gang because he was his wife found out about they would cheat on her ass. Not busting me, not at home. I mean, is that, that, seriously? I mean, honestly, is that why you suck this season? I mean, because you wasn't getting no pussy. I mean, or 
Dude, what if his wife is just trash? But then I asked the question, if she was trash, why you married that whole deal? If, if, if her sex game is horrible... Cause and I know it, you it, fucked it, her before. And she, ain't, she she using teeth when she's sucking your dick or something. When she tries to slip the finger in, her, in your butt, when I, I don't know. Shit get crazy. Y'all millennials is weird. So I don't know. What if she just can't get it? And this little this little thing thing from um, God's Nowhere, Ohio, just fuck the shit out of him. Oh my bad, suck the shit out of him because he didn't get a pussy. Like seriously though, that's like. That's like getting an IOU, but you never got you never got to return an IOU because you didn't fuck. And now, and now, if this really true, Baker, and this shit coming out right now, I know you think this. So like, God damn, I should have just fucked. Yeah. Like seriously, like fuck it, this bitch gonna fuck, spill the beans. I should have fucked her bitch anyway, damn. But I digress. Y'all like subscribe. You too, what y'all think? Tear. <laughs>